Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Pisces. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Also, I have an announcement just before I begin. Um, I am currently accepting private reading requests, so if you would like to book a personal reading with me, please send your request to the email address in the description box below this video. All right, let's get to your reading. So I feel like whatever this is, it's been going on for uh, a long time. Maybe you cannot see uh, what the real root issue is. Um, I feel like you are most likely asking a lot of questions about your partner. You would be worried about your partner or your ex, okay? Uh, they would be an ex right now because I feel like you would not be together right now. Um, and you would be wondering how they feel about you. Um, you uh, or they could be wondering how you are feeling about them, okay? This could go vice versa, understand this. Um, I feel that whatever is ailing you, uh, there is help on the way, okay? So help is arriving, and I feel it's r arriving fairly quickly. You have the warrior in the reverse. Well, this is a warrior who's feeling defeated. They've pushed and pushed until their body and armor is too damaged to continue. And now they're left to wonder, well, <laughs> you know, what's next? So something in your life may have ended, uh, which I rather suspect it did, or it is ending, and you may be wondering, what will you do now? What will happen next? Well, to really answer those questions or to find the answers or a clue to those questions you have on your mind, you would really need to figure out how you actually got here in the first place. And for that, you would not need to look behind you. You or them. Why did you feel the need, you or them, whoever this is, because they could be watching, right? This, they could be watching this and may need to pay attention to this message. Why did you feel the need to wear this armor? And why was it so damaged? And I feel that if, if whoever this is for looks behind you, you will find your answers. And then you'll be able to answer all those questions on your mind. What, what will happen now? What, what should I do next? Uh, you know, so, yeah. How do they feel about me? Well, that's something uh, that's between you and them, okay? Uh, although I rather suspect uh, that they do still love you, if that is your uh, worry. Um, but uh, there is an issue here, and clearly it is being expressed in this card of the warrior reversed, the need for the armor, and uh, how damaged that armor is, and the nine of swords, and the death card, um, and, and so uh, the heartbreak. Um, this is all uh, happening because of emotional baggage, because of ghosts of the past, because uh, perhaps somebody uh, did not want uh, to face those ghosts of the past. You know, there's the death card up there. Yeah, see, th there it is. Look at that. There's the emperor and he's fully armored under his clothes. And there's the death card sitting right underneath him. So there's some very valuable information I see here. And they, ha they must do this journey of the world. Uh, go back and um, he will find some very valuable information uh, about his circumstances. And uh, the sooner he does this, the sooner he gets out of this position, the sooner he knows what he must do. The wheel is waiting. <laughs> the wheel is waiting. It tells, again, another, another sign. 
So there was an opportunity, but now that opportunity is not necessarily over or gone. It's just like waiting. So um, it's waiting, I, I feel, to see if the lessons were learned, you know. We see a lot of grief and we see that the wheel is waiting. Well, you know, have you learned your lesson, my child? <laughs> like that. One minute, I'll be right back. Okay. And so, yeah, have you learned your lesson? Um, I feel like, and there's the evaluation on, on the whole situation. Um, and I feel like with the sun on top of the wheel, that, that's saying that clarity will be given, that soon uh, you will have your clarity or soon they will have this clarity that they need, right? Well, uh, also, uh, we see that message um, also over here in the, in the card of the gift, Okay, that that's that's like soon you will have your clarity. Help is on on its way. So, um, this is about bringing something back to life. Um, we see that there is still the possibility for growth. He's staring at this bud growing out of the uh, out of the wand and um, wondering if, if there is still life here. You can see the woman walking away in the background with the flame. But could we bring this back to life? He has assessed the, uh, the situation and he has found something. What has he found? There's the coin tucked under his arm and look what this is. This is the coin. Although you don't see the coin, it is the page of coins or pentacles, however you want to want to call it. But um, the information he's found, it, the coin is actually the book, okay? And so this is information that's found that's very, very precious to this person. Why? Because look, they have the book covered in a, in a cloth. So very precious information has been found. And where has it been found? Behind them. That's what they were supposed to do, right? The reason why they felt they had to wear this armor all the time. The reason why it always got damaged. You know, they were always getting damaged, hurt. Three of swords, parting of the ways. They may have parted ways, but it's not over. We know that by the wheel. You can have a brand new beginning. The child is here, uh, not the child, excuse me, I don't know why I'm saying that. I'm seeing the child, but it's the same type of message. The, the, um, uh, uh, the fool actually uh, is here uh, to talk about a brand new beginning, about following your heart. Uh, uh, it can also be about seeing things in a new way. All right. I feel like this person and now after this reflection does see things in a new way. Somebody could have went to the extreme, you know. Somebody could have went to the extreme. Um, learn, see, learn what you need to know about this situation, about the reason why they felt. See, they went to the extreme, the battle is over, and now they feel like, uh, see, their armor is all damaged. Again, more damage to the armor. Why? So the Hierophant asked them to, uh, to, to find out why. Why is this happening? Why does it keep happening? Now, this person is sitting there and uh, not talking, but they are so very tempted to come back to you. They are, and I feel like they will. They have to figure this out on their own, and they must figure it out so that, so that the relationship can move forward. The wheel's waiting for them, is waiting for them to figure all this out, to do the work, to learn the lesson, and then they can step into it. And then you guys can move forward. 
you see the five of swords is repeating over here and 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 we both know like we know in these in these in these cards we both know <laughs> You see, me and this person, we both know that there's regret for this action. They want a new beginning. They're looking back at the journey. There they are. Look at that. Assessing again. They've got a bad feeling, and that bad feeling is like, oh my God, what have I done? I'm going to lose this person uh, because, you know, of... of my behavior because of my uh, resistance to to uh, facing down these ghosts of the past, you know, uh, putting them to rest, laying them to rest, or at least make, making them, going back and making them easier or lighter to bear because those swords are blocking them from their happiness. So the confidenza is about facing one's fears, facing the truth of a situation, speaking the truth. And this is what they have to face. This They have to face the truth of these swords, the swords that still bleed. These are what's causing all of their fears. And they're causing a lot of haf havoc. This is all of, the, all of these bad experiences compiled. Look, each and every one of them are bleeding. So every time they would get damaged, they wouldn't, you know, take the time to try to heal it. They would just push it aside. And, and so it just kept getting, it's a problem that kept getting worse and worse and worse. They just like swept it under the rug <laughs> for now. But it always came back out. And, and I can just see them coming back out the swords, you know, to cause all of this havoc. See, there you go. It was hidden. They were pretending like they weren't there. This is new information that is coming out that, that they are going to see. Look, look at this. There's the hermit. And he's looking, uh, he's looking behind him to seek with the snake. He's sneaking, he's, he's, he's seeking wisdom from the past for a future decision. And so that future decision is to step into this, to this wheel. to give this another chance. But to do it right this time, you know, this is putting the effort, okay, there's, there's putting the effort uh, into a relationship and recognizing the, the choices that he, oh, look at that, oh my God, my God, my God. So um, this is, they were, they would have been very un, um, uh, unsupportive, unwilling to compromise, not very good at listening, or if they did, it went right over their head, one, in one ear and out the other. Oh, I'm listening. <laughs> sure you are. And so, uh, yeah, so this is theirs. You got the three of coins racked up here. He's got them all racked up. That's where he needs to put his effort, support, understanding, compromise. All right, and he knows it now. There's a realization, you see, after taking this trip <laughs> trip down memory lane here, okay, um, there's a realization that there was a deeper issue behind the choices that he made. All right, and so the deeper issue was all of these swords, and now it's time to face them because that's what death is asking them to do. This is a change, and it is very, very transformative once they do it, okay? So this will allow them, because they're telling you, well, you know, you want to move forward with this person, right? You want to move forward, but look at this, see? You're grieving over this person. You want them back, but you're not taking care of the ghosts of the past. It won't work if you don't. If you don't, it won't work. Look at this. So the sun shines its light on this red flag, so you know what it is, you know what the problem is, you or they, whoever this is, and you're yet, you're, if, if you carry them ashore, you're heading for trouble again. Okay, so you don't want to bring those swords ashore. Those are ghostly passengers that are really not welcome on this trip. <laughs> okay, that's all I got to say. And so, yeah. So, um, help is on the way. Uh, there is a realization. Uh, this person has realized uh, what 
was causing all of the damage and uh, I feel like there's less resistant uh, less resistance to turning around and facing those ghosts of the past. And that is exactly what they need to do uh, to heal themselves and to heal this relationship. That is the solution. It is the only solution. It is the very first step in healing this relationship and themselves, of course. Right? They must heal themselves first. Once they fix the inner world, the outer world will fall into, you know, in, into uh, its proper place. It will align, so to speak. So the wheel is sitting here and it's waiting. Uh, clarity is coming. There is a new beginning. This person needs to follow their heart and not listen to those swords anymore. Okay, don't listen to those swords anymore. Turn around, face them, and tell them to get lost, you know. <laughs> get out of here. So, um, yeah, so that's basically what they got to do and uh, and follow their heart, you know. I'm making light of this a little, but it's, it's not anything to be made light of, really, um, because it is affecting somebody's happiness, all right? So... Um, uh, really, it, it has to be taken care of. It's a very, very serious, serious matter. It can cause so much damage, so much damage. Um, so it's time to take care of these now. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for uh, subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you. Bye for now.